Alright guys, this is just going to be a quick video about the 12,000 BTU Mr. Cool mini split system which this is the indoor unit um, above me here and uh, this unit runs off of 115 volts and a common I believe the maximum fuse breaker is 20 amps but I think it'll also run off of a 15 amp breaker as well um, I want to say that the outdoor unit runs off of about 13 and a half amps and the indoor unit runs off of like half an amp so combined they're still under a 15 amp draw um, this unit actually so far has been really cool to install the thing that I really enjoy about it is the fact that you don't have to have any specialty gauges or tools to use it so you can go ahead and just mount this up in your driveway on the weekend and you don't have to have an HVAC expert come out and uh, make sure that it has the appropriate amounts of coolant or freon in it so I'm gonna really quick just kind of show you what I've done and how this thing's falling together and like I said we'll keep it short and sweet but here it is the 12,000 BTU Mr. Cool all right guys, so this is at the back side of the mini split indoor unit that I just showed you. And coming out of here, we've got three things. We've got a drain line. We've got our two condenser lines, the big one and the small one. I don't actually know the difference between them, but those are our lines. And then this is the power cable. So one thing that was mentioned to me about these installs when I called Mr. Cool was that if you have to coil this up, you should do so laying flat. So I actually cut a piece of aluminum and bolted it from the bottom up into the uh, 1079 box here, this AC compartment that it already had. And then I took pieces of flat strap just kind of to pin it down. So I've got my whole loop coiled and laid flat because they say that the oil will actually pool in the lines and cause it to cool less efficiently. So that's what that's all about. Then, as you look here, you've got two different types of fittings. One is the big pipe, one's the little pipe, and it's very simple to just connect those, tighten them with uh, simple wrenches, and uh, move on to the next step. And for those of you that are wondering what this orange panel is, this is a product called Schluter uh, Curdy Board. And Curdy Board is typically used in tile installations. And this is their builder's board. So this board is about an inch and a half or two inches thick. And I use this a lot with work. And uh, it's a great insulator. And it also has this waterproof um, fabric on it that also kind of helps dent resistance too. So I went ahead and put a piece of that just as essentially to to get an R value back where this big hole was originally constructed in the 1079 box. So that's Curdy board and uh, next thing we're going to do is connect these lines here which go into the panel of my AC unit here. So I'll get that done and I'll show you what's going on after that. Okay so here's the inside of the little panel. You've got your uh, connections for the three that run into the cab and then the load and uh, line for the power coming in and then your two ground pins so it's pretty simple there and down here is where we connect to our gas lines these caps simply unscrew and inside of there you can see that inside of there is an allen that will unscrew and that's what's going to release the Freon. All right, we've got all our connections made. Should look something like that. Now we're going to go ahead and take our cover here, slide it up and attach it, and uh, then we can get this unit slid into place. Here I'm getting the final wiring and everything tidied up with some zip ties, making everything look good before I get the Mr. Cool unit installed. Let's take this time to like and subscribe. All right, so now the mini split outdoor unit is installed. I've got the wiring all taken care of, pre-wired it so that way when I go to make my connections it'll be nice and easy. And I got my coil down below which is nice and compact in there. And I got all the lines hooked up and uh, now I'm going to go ahead and do a leak test and then we'll move back inside. Okay, so we got our 12,000 BTU AC system fully installed, at least for now and I have it turned on. I wanted to test it. However, I'm testing it just using an extension cord end, 
um, right into the leads so I could test it since I don't have any of my battery bank and charge controller all that stuff set up yet so we're just plugged into house power and uh, it is running right now believe it or not so right now I have the heat pump on so this model actually comes with a heat pump as well and I mean it's making the back of my head hot so I'm not gonna last very long sitting here but it is working, it's working flawlessly. There is a display right here that tells us what our set point temperature is. And then uh, this will regulate up and down to that set point. So it's really pretty cool how it's digitally displayed there. I also have this remote. So this remote is how we're gonna do all of our commands. It powers it on and off. It sets it from cool to heat, um, fan speed, all that. The other cool thing is this unit also comes with uh, connectivity to your phone. So you can use your phone and you can program the settings. I think you can even do it if you're away, um, things like that and keep your cabin at whatever temperature you desire. So this thing's awesome. I'm gonna shut it off here, I think, so that you can see how the fin, these fins above my head here, these will rotate up and close when it's turned off, but as you can tell, it's running right now. It's really quiet, so I'm very happy about that. Um, if I had to guess, like on a decibel level, it would be extremely low, like um, like a whisper. So maybe 20 decibels. I don't know. It's very quiet indoors, and also the pump outside is very quiet. So overall very satisfied. I think this is a great unit. Um, for those of you that might be considering this in your build, it's 12 inches tall and about 32 inches wide is what you're going to need for clearance. They say you're supposed to have five and a half from the top of the unit to the ceiling. So we went ahead and did that. We have five and a half currently there. And uh, I think that even in the event that my normal um, cabin heater breaks down. I could always fire up my generator if my battery bank isn't enough to power it and I could heat this whole cabin just off of this little heat pump in here. It puts out, it feels a lot like a space heater, like one of those small 1500 watt space heaters. So anyway, that is all and here I'll shut it off for you so you can see it, uh, how it rotates up and closes. And there it goes all closed up, shut down. The outside heat pump is still running a little bit, but it's uh, winding down as well. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the Mr. Cool 12,000 BTU DIY kit, which we did in a matter of three hours, let's say. Super awesome. Highly recommended. Go get you one.